At one point, we thought the world was flat. Until explorers pushed into the unknown. At one point in time, we thought the sun orbits around the Earth. That was our whole universe. Until we look farther. It's all about explorers pushing into the unknown. Scientists are like these explorers. People who discover things that we didn't think that we needed to know. Without explorative science, we wouldn't know what we know today. But all of our modeling makes up only 5% of the known universe. The truth is that to explore the big questions... To give us one theory that can explain what we see... We need to examine some of the smallest elements. So at the moment we have the uh, Large Hadron Collider, LHC. With the LHC we achieve discovery of the Higgs boson. That's the particle responsible for the masses of all the other elementary particles. The discovery of the Higgs boson was a big deal. But this is only the beginning of the story. Think about Christopher Columbus looking for a westerly passage to Asia. He set out to do something um, that was in the end completely uh, different from what he discovered, but that discovery was the Americas and it was of, of tremendous importance. And sometimes science is just like that. No, I think if we, if we stopped exploring, then, then basically we, we, st we stopped evolving. The question isn't, should we explore? It's how should we explore? Like any technical object, also the LHC has a certain reach or a certain range that it can cover. So the FCC, it's uh, planned for a post-LHC era. The Future Circular Collider FCC will be the next instrument that we have to build if we want to continue to be in the path of discovery. The motivation for what we are doing is basically curiosity. There is a lot more to, to learn still, and we have to. The FCC will be a tool for high energy physics, for discovering new particles, for maybe discovering new laws of nature. The FCC is uh, today a design study. We are studying the possibility of going to higher energies. To help us to understand better the main components of matter. There's no clear hint on where nature could hide its secrets. To explore more intense uh, and more energetic collisions, we need a bigger collider. A collider is, uh, is a little bit like a hammer, so we need a bigger hammer. But with FCC, we can go much, much further. FCC is going to be much larger than the LHC. Physically, it's a much longer tunnel. This future circular collider, we're looking at a tunnel 80 to 100 kilometers, basically what we can fit into the, into the Geneva Basin. It will cross underneath the lake and surround the city of Geneva. In places, FCC will go down to depths of something like 500 meters. It's an amazing uh, job for a civil engineer. With the LHC, the beam is one third of the diameter of a hair, 2,808 bunches. In each bunch, we have 120,000 million protons circulating, and when they collide, they generate only 30 simultaneous collisions. And in the FCC, we will have seven times that quantity of protons. If you want to look at things on a very small scale, we have to increase the collision energy. To design a machine that is one order of magnitude more performant than the present LHC. The FCC would be the world's most powerful microscope. One always thought about proton-proton machines as discovery machines. Colliding electrons and positrons, you're working at low energies, but you can make very precise measurements. There will be a lot of discussion on what the best way is uh, to go forward. We will need all the people of CERN, but all the people also worldwide. Such a project can only be realized as an international global effort. You can no longer do such science alone. Science no, knows no borders. I think science has a very pure spirit. Ultimately, we are building a tool for the next generation, and what is really exciting is what are they going to do with that. The questions that we are starting to ask in science are questions that only humanity acting together can hope to answer. I sogni che ho per il futuro per la FCC è che ci aiuti a capire cos'è la materia oscura. Ile jeszcze nowych technologii wynajdziemy budując FCC. Mios antimateria. J'aimerais que le FCC puisse puisse expliquer les 95% de l'univers qui aujourd'hui reste encore inconnu.
Lo que más me gustaría es ver que tenemos una prueba experimental de que el universo y las cuatro fuerzas fundamentales se pueden explicar con una sola teoría. Yo espero que el FCC pueda encontrar la explicación de la Wenn ich zurückschaue in 100 Jahren, was, was, das, was der FTC entdeckt haben könnte, das, das Beste wäre, ich denke, realistisch und gut wäre, wenn wir sagen können, der FTC hat die dunkle Materie, die schwarze Materie entdeckt. Mit FCC hoffe ich, dass wir ein Ende wissen, wo wir kommen. These are some of the questions that FCC might answer. The sort of questions that we need to consider in planning the future of particle physics. You have to think that nothing is impossible. From time to time, the success will be tremendous. We've scratched the surface, but we, we have clearly much more to, to discover.